Here's another important video from the Personal Defense Network. Now let's take a look at how we can combine the two techniques that we've looked at so far, the arm bar and the wrist lock, to gain control or to gain immobilization during the time that we're waiting for somebody else to help us or we're waiting for the attacker to stop completely. Maybe we're waiting for the police to show up or maybe we are the police. Maybe we're a security situation or a law enforcement situation where we need to get control over this person and eventually, of course, get them into handcuffs, take them into custody. So we've got a situation where we've, we've gotten into an arm bar during some point at a, after a grab, after a punch, at some, some point, in some way, we've gotten into this arm bar situation. Maybe there's a wall, maybe there's a car, maybe there's a desk, there's something that's helping us to immobilize this person. And what we're going to do is we can see that right here I can have that good wrist lock right in this position. I've got that good position, I've got my thumbs against the palm of the hand, I've got my fingers pushing down on the wrist, I've got that wrist lock helping with the arm bar. The other thing I can do here is take these fingers, turn them, and wrap this all up underneath and obviously now my wrist lock is going the other way but by putting a little pressure on this side of the body whether it be on the arm whether it be on the shoulder pulling in and up here allows me to crank that back down if in that situation I go from the arm bar to a situation where from here from here wherever I was I roll down and grab those fingers and go to the other direction back up I also end up in the same situation where now I've got this hand bent up and I can come in with my arm on the other side of their arm, okay, and bring this in, and now I'm going to bring this all down. And by holding it here, this gives me a great deal of control. So again, let's look at that. I'm in the armbar situation. I'm here, however I got here, doesn't matter. I'm in the armbar situation. I'm going to reach out, grab the fingers, pull them back against the hand. Again, picture a desk, picture a car, picture something that's helping with the immobilization at this point. I'm going to bend this up and under and immediately come into this situation with a wrist lock where I'm pulling back on the hand, pulling it into my bicep. This gives me a great deal of pain and control motivation here for him to stop attacking me. I can ensure that he doesn't get away or I can now move him somewhere else, because that's one of our principles, to either immobilize him against that wall, car, desk, ground, floor, whatever it is, or I can now grab him by the shoulder or by the other arm and actually move him with a great deal of pain and compliance control going on here. So the wrist lock is something we can use in conjunction or as a bridge from that arm bar. We can use those wrist locks to help gain control and immobilization and get to the next step in our fight. Check out more videos just like this one at the Personal Defense Network.